Hello people, Namaskara and welcome back to the channel Wonders Tales and uh, today is February 19th and it's a Sunday so and also it's a sunny day. Uh, it's been one week that we have relocated to Germany and uh, currently we are uh, in a temporary stay uh, in Mulheim. It's a carnival season now in Germany so what we are planning to do is just go out and explore some places around. So today we are heading towards uh, Dusseldorf. Basically Dusseldorf is about a 30 minutes train journey from uh, Mulheim. So right now time is 10.30. We will uh, get ready and uh, head towards the train station which is nearby maybe around uh, 2 minutes walk. So let's go. We will keep you all posted. Let's go. Initially, we wanted to visit Dusseldorf, but uh, we saw a lot of crowd and then we thought we will head to Kolin, which is about an hour's train journey. There is a carnival happening here, so we came to visit the carnival. Um, quite uh, clogged with people here, so we couldn't even get a seat in the train um, for some stations. Uh, but uh, nice, very colorful. Um, you see people with attractive costumes, um, so I think uh, it's interesting. Uh, to visit during the carnival. <laughs> Cologne Dome is the largest Gothic church in Northern Europe and features immense twin towers that stand 515 feet tall. The cathedral was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 96. Cologne Carnival is one of Europe's biggest, best and oldest carnivals. Every year, millions of people dress up and spent six crazy days celebrating carnival in Cologne. Carnival is the time of the year when the city of Cologne lets loose, dresses up, sings their hearts out, dances the night away and drinks insane amounts of beer and Snaps. Anyone who has been to Cologne outside of the carnival wouldn't even recognize the city with the huge metamorphosis that occurs during the carnival. Uh, a place called Swartz in Düsseldorf, um, known for biryanis. Unfortunately, we so much got engrossed in eating biryani, we forgot to actually kind of shoot it. But I think uh, in our uh, German diaries, we will again definitely revisit it. Um, that time, uh, we will give you a walkthrough. Um, then from there, uh, we have actually uh, taken a train to Flughafen, which is the airport area and uh, we wanted to see what these sky trains are uh, usually from the uh, train station 
uh, there is the sky trains which people take to go to the airport so we thought we have time so we'll just go explore that today and that's what we are doing the sky train stands for the intra airport service between dusseldorf airport railway station the terminals and long term parking areas the sky train accepts vrr and vrs tickets special db tickets like city plus nrw observation deck tickets parking tickets and rail and fly tickets the sky train fare will be included to the final price of your train ticket On the other hand some airlines and tour operators include the SkyTrain fare in the airfare if it is not the case a short journey ticket will be needed and please note that the fare is lower than the normal tickets and in case of not having any of the tickets described you will have to buy a ticket for the short SkyTrain ride at any of the ticket vending machines located at the stations so people now we are back from the sky train and uh, now we will take a train and uh, head towards home people uh, we are back uh, to munahel uh, the place where we are staying currently so thanks for watching guys do share the video with your family and friends and let's go